Um, hi, um, whoever's watching this. Um, um, my name's Nitro from Fingers, um, and I wanted to do another video. Um, I did one a couple of months back about um, pistons and things, and it was kind of fun. Um, and I recently found this mod called Computercraft that I've been using a lot. Um, and I'm really excited, really impressed by it. So it's you know it's a really cool little thing um, that we've got here, um, sort of a very very good system. And I just wanted to do a quick video just to show one of the things that I found that was sort of really cool about it. Um, I haven't looked very very carefully at the moment, but I've been sort of looking around at a few of the different um, applications for Computercraft, and um, I mean they're, they're, a lot of them are very very impressive. Um, but I'm seeing a lot of things like you know locked door code and um, sort of some 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 takeoffs of the old programs that are already on there. And um, I want to do something that's a bit more novel um, and a bit interesting. It's a bit clever um, and that works really well, especially in the Minecraft world. That's something I really wanted to, to do instead of um, anything else. So hopefully I can do that with this um, this short video. Um, I guess we'll, we'll sort of see how we go. Um, so what I've done is I've done a uh, well, it's um, nothing terribly special. It's just an email client um, uh, or client server system I've been working on. Um, I wanted to initially do this as something that, that anyone could do, but it, it rapidly grew out of control. Um, so it didn't really work out that way, but that's okay. Um, I'll just show you what I've got and we'll sort of see how it goes. First off, I'll show you the, the system. We'll start off by showing you the client. Uh, all right. Um, so I did write this. If you're if you're curious, um, it's not too tricky. It's not not really. Um, it just uses sort of a very simple um, menu system um, to sort of get through things as well. And it receives and sends emails. We can find the bit where that happens uh, down here. Here we go. Um, just sends off these emails in this sort of format here, um, and reads them. And this all comes from a central server that I'll show you a little bit later on. And then just runs the interface and that's some input stuff. Not really not terribly complicated stuff at all. Um, so just go to the mail client here, and let's see this running. So this is what it looks like. Um, I say, so you know, it, it looks okay. It seems to run quite nicely. Um, and you can see it's got my name here. I'll just show you sort of that it's working. So first off, it says, hi, new user, which is a bit, it's kind of a boring name. So let's change that. I want to call myself Nitro Fingers. There we go. Cool. All right. I've got myself named. Um, now you can see at the top left corner, I've got computer ID there. Um, that's what you send your emails to, the computer ID. Um, so I'm going to send one to myself just to show off how this works. So I'm going to compose a new email. I'm going to send it to 110. Um, this is a test email to show some stuff to YouTube. I guess that'll be fine. Cool. All right, that's inputted now. So I just hit enter twice, and I can send a delete. I'm going to send that message, and there we go. Message sent. Works nicely. Great. Cool. All right. Um, so anyway, you can see here that I haven't sent any. Now um, you can't just have them pop in, in and out like on a modern computer, because these computers aren't real well multi-threaded or anything like that um, in, a, in any meaningful way. So I just have a refresh email section here, so if we want to check your email, just hit here, and message received, that's great news. So I've got a new email. So um, let's read that email, so I've got unread emails. There it is, and there we go. See, um, sent by me at 9.05 p.m., just with that email there. Great, and I'm going to archive that one for fun, okay, I guess. Um, so you can either just choose to delete your unread emails, you can archive them if you want, and in the archive you've just got them here. I've just got the one here again because I just started this up. Um, ah, no, the archive isn't working real well, but that's alright, I'll, um, I'll come back and fix that a little bit later. Anyway, um, so that's that working quite nicely, that's well, you know, some, somewhat nicely, I have to fix that, but besides that, it's, it's, it's doing okay. Um, so, um, there's the mail client, I'll just show you the server. Um, so you can't really, I wanted to send emails back and forth between computers, but that's not as easy as I'd like it to be, so um, instead I decided to do like a client server system, similar to how regular emails go, so this is the mail server. Um, that works here, and you can see what this does here is it actually just takes in all the emails and stores them. And this is just yeah, reading through some responses and and and, and printing it out and stuff like that. Um, and then when the so what happens is you send an email as a request, and it'll come to this computer here, and it'll process it and store it. And then when you want to get rid of the email or read the email, you ask for all the requests of the emails that your computer has. It'll then read through the list, look for all the emails that you've sent, and um, and it'll send them to you. So um, yeah, it's, it's it's kind of cool. I'll try sending another one now as well. Um, I'll send one to my um, my other computer, which is being used by someone else. Um, I'm just going to compose an email. I'm just going to send this now. I think his computer ID is 121. Um, sending emails back and forth. Let's do that. Okay. Good. Looking good. Um, yeah, it's it's not quite finished, unfortunately, but we'll, we'll get there eventually. I say we'll get there. Um, so let's just quickly open this up. Uh, now, this one is turned on. This was, that's right, 121. I've already got this loaded up, so when I just go to refresh emails. Message received. Unread emails. Emails back and forth. So there you go. That's pretty cool, huh? You know, it's 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 nice. It's a it's a, it's a good little system. It works quite well. So um, you can do that quite nicely. Um, the big thing most people sort of notice that is a serious issue is this is using um the wireless um Rednet 
API that's provided with computer craft and um, it's not it's not that expansive you can't get that far with it and that's that's a real issue so um, what we have to do in that case is um, use like I haven't had to do it just yet but I'll probably have to create a system where I have a series of computers that act as sort of internal servers and they will um, Oh, not servers. They'll they like to sort of like like um transporters between um the mail server and other computers on the network, and you have to register with that domain, and it'll just point towards you. Leave it like an internet system. So you know we've got a little internet happening here. It's very very simple. It's not very well developed. I spent most of the time just working on the code. Anyway, um, it looks a little bit impractical like this because I mean it's not a really fancy thing or anything like that at the moment. It's, it's, but um, the thing is, what I wanted to sort of show off is this in the Minecraft world. This is really quite a, a you know a, a usable feature. It's quite. Um, something that you can really apply in a lot of different ways and really exciting ways as well. Um, and this is one example I thought of. So you see down there you've got that sort of train track which has got some you know, some glass and some glass panes and some wood there. Um, this is all built using a robot. I actually might just quickly show off how that works because it's kind of cool. Um, so I'll just grab some glass here if I have any. I do not have any glass. I'll have to use stone instead. Sorry, so it's not going to be a very pretty tunnel, but it will be a tunnel. Uh, there we go. That'll live in seconds. Um, and we'll just grab my turtle here. I'll just um, uh, grab this and my disc thing here. I do hope I have it on here because if I don't, that'll be very embarrassing. Okay. Yeah, it's there. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so we'll just put that as the floor tile. It's again, you have to be a bit careful with these these ones here. Um, put that there, and that. There, and that should do us for the second anyway. Um, so I'm just gonna go lay tunnel. I think it is. Great. So what this is now gonna do is there you go. Kind of cool. See, making a little little Minecraft tunnel. Yes. And not really. I'll actually I'll show you the code for that one. I wanted to show off the code more for the um. Thing there, but it's it's really not that complicated. Um, just open this up here. New disk. Uh, uh, right, of course, it's moved away. Okay. Really simple stuff here. Um, yeah, the inventory, what you different different things you want to lay. Just yeah, you just dig forwards, move it around, and then just sort of go through. This, just taking the slots around, un empty and stuff like that. And you know, it's just sort of just a matter of moving forwards, turning around, checking to see if the slots are placed, and then just sort of placing things in place. It's 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 very simple. Um, nothing complicated. A lot of fun to do actually there. So um, anyway, that's that's so you lay these big tunnels, and the idea is that um, we we're going to have like a whole bunch of these going all across the continent because the tu the turtles can lay them very easily. Um, and so we're going to have lots of train stations. We've just got the one, um, but we'll eventually have lots. And so, so you sort of come down here and sort of think, well, you know, um, if I'm going to have lots of trains coming in and out, I want to know when they're arriving, right? Um, yes, I do. So I'm going to have this thing called a train scheduler. So we just open this thing up here and I'll sort a computer in here. Um, and this is the train, well, sorry, the train notifier, rather. Um, and this will just keep track of what things are happening and when in the system. I should probably have turned music off. That's kind of embarrassing. Not real prepared for this video, but that's okay. Anyway, um, what I've got, how that works at the moment is um, it's um, sending um, the, essentially when when I um, put a, a minecart on this track, if it's come through like someone's sort of ridden down the track or um, uh, you know a storage package has arrived something like that, um, it'll fire off an email um, to my computer, the one upstairs just there that I showed you before, um, that will say, hey, guess what, a train's arrived on the platform. So let's test it now. I'll just put something here, and we just go here. We'll open up this thing again. Just check that. Train arrive notification sent. So let's actually go upstairs and just check that. Um, go into my computer here. Let's just check my emails. One has been received, and then when I check the unread email, platform one told me the train has arrived at the platform. So there you go. Pretty cool. Now it's pretty inconvenient using this computer here. It's much smarter to use a um, a different computer that would that would actually like a train a, a, like a train computer. And I mean, if you think about it, you could have sort of five or six different train tracks, um, and you could just have the computer actually sort of saying if there's input on one, not on the other, just using the email system um, because it just, yeah, updates on and off would work really nice that way. It's yeah, it's a very um, very elegant, very clever way of doing things, and so um, you know, there's there's a lot you can do. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Um, 
I might just wax lyrical about this mod just for a little bit longer. Um, I, I understand that most people who are playing Minecraft probably aren't programmers, and I wanted this first off to be something that I think anyone could do. And uh, I still sort of believe that anyone could do it. If you if you spent a good bit of time with Lua, I reckon you could probably lick um, this this system in maybe a week, week and a half. It took me about a day and a half to write the thing all up. Um, not too long. Um, it just mostly it was just messing around with the APIs and, and trying to get around a few less interested to the language. But listen, if you've never programmed before, you know Lua is a great start. It's so easy to do, just really really simple stuff. Um, I think yeah. you know um, you you can just it's you know there's, there's no, no 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 difficulty. The syntax is really simple. It's multi paradigm. So if you've programmed in any other language before, you probably pick up Lua without too much difficulty. That's fast, um, especially Ruby. If you've done something like Ruby, you'll you'll have no troubles. Ah. Do. You know, it's just a just a, a joy to program this language. It really is. So, um, honestly, if you're if you're even thinking about it, just give it a try. Because say it's great fun. It's something different, something unique. It really adds a lot more to Minecraft. I think um, some people might realise because you can you can just do amazing and incredible things with this. That'll probably do it for me. Um, so I might do another one of these videos if this one does all right. Because um, I was thinking of doing a few ASCII-style games. I know they've got Worm on there already, and I was thinking of doing perhaps like something sort of I don't know, Space Invaders, something similar to that. Um, I also was working very simply on a um, well, it's not there, but um, on a an IF engine. Um, not not a complicated one, a little bit like the one that they use for Adventure. Um, the game that's already preset on here, but with a, a bit a bit sort of more flexible, um, inspired by sort of Tad's Three. I'll use the other computer for that. You know, um, so, so, it, you know. You know so, just something simple like that, just for a bit of fun. Um, so, you know, I say if 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 that this provokes any interest in that, then I, I might give that a try and, and see how we go. But um, yeah, that'll 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 do. So, thanks very much for watching. If you have any responses to stuff like that to this video, I'd love to see them. So just send them my way. I'd love to see it. So great. Thanks very much.